Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome. Babe, what was that? I've got my um, producer here, which is useless by the way. Um, so let's start again. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are well. I'm coming to you on the 2nd of January, bare-faced, fresh-faced. Um, we're doing raw footage now, guys. I've switched it up. I wanted to jump on as part of my gastric sleeve series, show you videos from my pre-op stage that I had recorded. Just a quick one, a recap. If you haven't seen any of my videos, I flew out to Turkey on the 11th of November, 2022, and I had my gastric sleeve surgery on the 12th of November, 2022. For those who don't know what gastric sleeve surgery is, it's essentially a weight loss surgery um, the, the procedure I had, which is the sleeve, they remove 80% of your stomach, up to 80% of your stomach. I actually had 80% of my stomach removed. Um, along with that, the part of the stomach that they remove, they remove the hunger hormone, which I believe is called ghrelin. And so now I'm on this weight loss journey that I'd like to share with you guys. So this video is going to include things from the pre-op stages. As a quick summary, uh, everyone's pre-op stages are different, guys, just to let you know. And once you book your surgery, whoever you go with, whether it's in the UK or abroad, they will give you guidelines to follow uh, what, how long you need to do it what you need to eat uh, how much you need to eat um, so obviously please make sure that you follow your dietitian or your surgeon's advice with my particular clinic um, I had to do the pre-op stage for 10 days before that no smoking no alcohol um, and the, the diet was quite strict. Um, I think the smoking and things like that is for people who, um, I think it's to do with anaesthetic and stuff. Um, and then afterwards, I'll speak about that, but it's quite similar, three months post-op, you're not supposed to smoke, um, no alcohol and things like that. Um, so yeah, the pre-op stage for mine was a little bit shorter. It was only 10 days. Um, mine included food. I've seen online, some people have liquid only. the scenes how'd you feel okay good now this is gonna be like a, a little documentary about how you really feel behind the scenes well this is reality right this is the real hug not the one that you guys see this is me behind the scenes now getting, getting the real beast hey getting I, I get the brunt of it week out from six days out from the old uh from the old op look preparing some lovely food for herself very nicely done so you've had quite a difficult week this week your emotions have been all over the place for various reasons but i think one of the main triggers at the moment is um a lot of uncertainty so some of the questions hazel has been kind of wanting reassurance about is uh, is she going to lose weight you know is something bad going to happen on the table which I think are all real valid anxieties because um, I think you're right with me saying this because you've had some real anxieties before real traumas before growing up you know having scoliosis going through various operations so I think that's where them traumas and anxiety stem from but yeah. Are you done now, babe? See, this, this, <laughs> see, this is the reality. She doesn't like talking about it. But it's okay, she's not ready, so I'll turn it off. <laughs> Let's get a full size yeah, picture of her. Yeah, but this is the worst outfit you could possibly Yeah, get but that's the reality, right? That is the reality, my big beautiful queen. Yeah. And I'm sweating. And she's sweating. Oh, you turned it off. How, how much more real raw footage do you want to her doing the dishes? So guys, it feels like it's day one of my gastric sleeve journey. And basically, I have to do a pre-op diet for 10 days. So my diet starts tomorrow um, because I have my sleeve on the 12th of November. So this is just some shopping that I've done to prep for that. I just wanted to show um, the bits that I have been told to eat. And I might show my meals as well. Obviously, every 
company is different. Um, some companies say that you can eat, just watch what you eat the day before. Um, my one requires a liver shrinkage diet, um, which does have proper food, which is great because it's quite difficult otherwise to transition. So along with the 10,000 steps and exercise regime that you have to follow, um, I've categorized the food. So in terms of dairy here, we've got um, light Greek yogurt, low fat cottage cheese, which actually isn't in the description or in the thing that they've given me, um, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Greek style salad cheese, um, basically Greek feta cheese. It's supposed to be low fat, but I couldn't find any. So until I do, I'm going to bear with that. We've got some kefir, um, which is good for gut health. So this is quite important that you have this. Um, it's kind of littered all throughout the program. Um, Semi-skimmed milk, which I never drink semi-skimmed. I always drink whole milk. Um, so you've got uh, low-fat uh, beef mints. I've got diced chicken breast. Um, I've got some chili and lime fillets. Hopefully they're not really full of oil, but I thought... You know, I can't. I'm going to try my best not to use any oil, which is what they've said. Don't use any oil. Um, chicken mints. Um, and I've got two chicken breasts here. Um, in terms of veg, another bit. So we've got green lentils, with mixed beans in water. I've got some tuna here. I've also got some of this stuff at home, so I didn't go wild. Um, some almonds. Um, some whole wheat bread. Um... We've got some veg veggies here, so cucumber, green apples, baby gem lettuce, sweet peppers, coriander, parsley, mange too, um, wild rocket. I love the padron peppers, but you have to kind of drench them in salt, so I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, spinach, some tender stem broccoli, um, some uh, cherry tomatoes, and some lemon. Now, I'm going to ask the dietitian tomorrow because they've made me a group chat. So I'm going to ask her if I can use Frylight. Um, I assume she's going to say no. But I thought, you know, let me just get it just in case. Um, and then the other bits that I bought are just for my partner who he's saying that he's going to follow this diet with me to be uh, moral support. But I don't know how that's going to work. Cost of living crisis, guys, by the way, just as a FYI, I always do our standard food shop for the week. And it used to cost, I used to get so much for 50, 60 pounds. This, bearing in mind it's a mix from Aldi, Lidl, um, I did go to Tesco for the kefir, which was on offer. Um, this has cost me about £60, which I think is quite a lot. You know, I used to cover this whole massive table of stuff. Um, I only got a few extra bits. Let me just show you anyway. So I got some um, crunchy, extra mature cheddar, because this is the good stuff. Um, and then chicken and mushroom pie. Again, this is like uh, Lidl's um, deluxe finest kind of range. And then finally, just for tonight, um, I've got my favourite, which is butternut squash and the pine nut, like ravioli. I can't pronounce that, so I'm just going to say ravioli. So I'm going to have that to kind of end my eating. I should have gone out with a bang and had a Chinese, but I'm not going to overdo it. But this is kind of like, it's starting to feel real now, guys. The sleeve... Hussie's getting a sleeve. I can't believe I'm saying it out Guys, loud. it's 10 days until my gastric sleeve. Today, I'm starting the low-carb, high-protein pre-op diet that they've given me. So I've got some matcha green tea over here. This is the one that I've um, bought, what well, that I had in the cupboard. Um, but I have ordered... Uh, oh, sugar, this has got cranberry and lime in it. Anyway, I have, I have ordered... Um, you know, pure matcha, organic matcha. So I'm waiting for that to be delivered. Should be delivered today. Um, I've got one thin slice of wholemeal toast, a slice of, it should be low fat um, feta cheese, but I couldn't find it. So I've got a really thin slice of normal feta, tomato, cucumber, yellow pepper. Um, I'm not allowed to have any oil on it. So I've just put salt, some oregano, and um, some chili flakes. And then there's my tea. So guys, this is my dinner. Luckily, it's not too bad in terms of the portion size. So I'm supposed to have 10 spoons of quinoa. I've got yogurt, some salad with no dressing, and 100 grams of meat, um, which I have put in the oven. So the least, least I could find was 5% fat. Um, so it's a good portion. It's just you can't have dressings, which is a bit annoying. Apart from that, it's okay. So guys, this is the second day of my pre-op gastric sleeve diet. I'm just waiting for my thin slice of wholemeal toast to get ready. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show, yesterday I mentioned that I ordered some matcha powder. This is the one I've ordered. It's come a bit dented, which I wasn't too happy about. But um, the taste is quite nice. I usually get this with like loads of pumps of vanilla. So it is quite a strong grassy taste. 
Uh, Mem said he felt like it tasted like the sea. I don't know where he got that from. Um, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna make um, some matcha fresh now. Um, I do prefer it iced. I don't think it makes a difference. Um, so I'm gonna do mine iced. So I've just put. Don't mind the mess there, guys. I've just put like just under a, a few teaspoons of matcha powder, and I'm using my little IKEA whisk with just a little bit of hot water that's what it looks like like this and then I'm going to add some ice and that guys is my iced matcha tea I know it's not going to taste as great as the Starbucks one but it's full of other bits but yeah so this is exactly a week before my gastric sleeve surgery and on a weekend we like to have breakfast together so I can't have like this here and maybe half an egg but um we like to kind of this makes me feel better because i can see it but i can't eat it um so literally it's a week today these is what this is what we have on the board um and mem is excited aren't you mem yes can't. so guys this is literally the dinner of the week this time next week i would have had my sleeve isn't it babe this time next week i would have had my sleeve yeah. I assume so. So this is my dinner. So we've got 100 grams, well, just maybe just over actually, 100 grams of salmon, some veggies, edamame beans, and some mixed um, wheat, quinoa, and what's made you make in Turkish, uh, English? Lentils. In English, you mean? Lentils, that's right, babe. Got it. So guys, I'm just doing some food prep. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, I did buy this, but babe, can you turn it down? I sent it to the dietitian and she was like, just use a little bit of olive oil because how are you going to like fry chicken without it? It's lightly, I can't eat boiled guys, I'm not going to lie, like, it'll make me feel sick. So, there's a bit of water in here from the chicken and I put maybe like a tablespoon of olive oil for all of this chicken. I've got my scale so I'm going to weigh it out, so I'm going to do like a salad um, and then I've got some quinoa in here with a little bit of mixed olive oil. This is lunch, so you've got 100 grams of protein, um, quinoa, some salad, edamame beans, and I put some crunchy, um, crunchy onions on top, and I've made the same for me. Now, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.